It's fun to think about the origins of the words we use every day. English has words, a vast ocean of words, a plethora of them, even. And they come from all kinds of influences, including Latin, Greek, French, German, and even you. So let's find out where dry, banana, and fart come from. Each of these words has a unique story, a journey through time and space that has led them to their current forms. Their histories are a testament to the fluidity and adaptability of language, so prepare to dive into the fascinating world of etymology. Consider the word dry. Simple, isn't it? It turns out that it is. Now let's take a step back in time to about the year 700 AD. The word was first attested in the English language around this time. It's derived from the Old English draga, a term that remarkably carried a similar meaning to what we understand dry to mean today. Throughout its long history, dry has maintained its essence. It's always been used to describe a lack of moisture or wetness. It's fascinating how some words remain consistent in meaning throughout centuries, isn't it? I guess it helps when it doesn't have many syllables. Dry lost one, in fact. Maybe it's because England is wet, so they've always valued dryness there. Sometimes there are no answers. So the next time you use dry, remember it used to have another syllable. Or don't, there's no call to action here. Now let's peel back the layers of the word banana. This delightful penis-shaped edible has a history as rich as its taste. Believed to be of West African origin, banana is thought to have come from the Wolof language, though some suggest it may have been borrowed from languages such as Fula or Mandinka. Its first known use in English was in the 1590s, making it a rather old term in our language. Interestingly, the spelling and pronunciation of banana have remained remarkably consistent since its introduction into English. That's the second time we've seen something not change very much in this video. Well then, it seems we've always known a banana to be just that, a banana. Here's a possible explanation, coming straight from my arse, mind you, but this isn't grad school, so that's fine. The syllable structure is a vanilla consonant vowel, or CV setup, and the vowel A is pretty much the most common vowel in the universe, while the two consonants are among the first ones freshly spawned humans can make after hatching, so banana is as entry level as it gets when it comes to word construction. Just saying. There are a few things that have remained constant in the human experience over the hundreds of thousands of years during which we've cursed this planet, eating, sleeping, fornicating, farting, and dying. Let's talk about farting. This word, often met with laughter or embarrassment, has a rich linguistic history. It traces back to the Old English verb feortan, which means to break wind, a remarkably consistent meaning through the ages and a plausible name for an elf in a video game. This term was first attested in English in the 13th century, and despite the societal taboos surrounding the action it describes, the word fart has endured in our language. Actually, it's probably due to those societal taboos that it's endured. It has hang time, that is. Throughout the centuries, the word has held on to its original meaning, unlike many other words that evolve and shift over time. Not much has evolved in terms of gas building up in the digestive system and being expelled through the anus, so it all makes sense, I suppose. Its straightforwardness and simplicity are perhaps why it has stayed with us for so long. Here's an interesting experiment that will never be funded. Play an extended clip of fart sounds to different people and measure how long it takes before they start to laugh. I bet there's an inversely proportional relationship between education level and laughter response. That is, your stuffy professors will start laughing sooner, I bet. Anyhow, I'm sure there's a paper in it. Well, that's all for today. Despite language being inherently dynamic and ever-changing, dry banana farts represent words whose meanings have been remarkably consistent. Like a sturdy turd from someone of healthy diet and active lifestyle who always hands in his homework on time. Adieu.